Hey, hey. Spring Lafay, Simply Tarot. Okay, this is going to be a reading for the sign of, um, well, actually, Earth signs. So, yeah, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. This is going to be a reading for you. So, if you have Virgo, uh, Capricorn, or Taurus in your birth chart, it may be a reading for you. Even if you don't have, if you're drawn to this reading, you're probably going to take something away from it. Cross watchers, welcome. So let's see what we get from Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus. Okay, Queen of Swords, King of Wands. Okay, whatever it is you've been struggling with, um, this may have to do with money or a job. or um, That's what it feels like. Uh, you've been feeling stuck in it. It's time to take control. It's time to um, take the steps needed to free yourself from whatever you feel like is holding you back. So, it, you know, I feel like that um, this does have that feel of possible work related for some of you. And if so, uh, you have the strength. And you've got the, queen, you've got the Queen of Swords here and the King of Wands. You've got that fire and that drive to do what you need to do to free yourself from whatever this situation is. Um, cut away what no longer serves your higher good, and you will be amazed at how far you can go. I feel like if, if, you know, if this has got to do with a job, you've sown a seed, or you need to sow a seed. Here's what we've got. The Seven of Pentacles. So, if you put in some sort of, um, you know, if you went around looking for jobs or if you've been talking to people, there's a seed that's been sown. So, you know, maybe you put in an application for somewhere. Maybe you've just uh, spoke with someone and let them know how, you know, you're not happy where you're at. Something's opening up for you if this is work-related. So, yeah, there we go with that. If this is uh, romantic love-related... Three of Wands. You've been looking for this. You've been waiting on this. This is something that you've been wanting to happen. Ace of Wands. This is something that will go the distance. Something that's very strong. Um, you know, it's just up to you, though. Is this what you truly want? You know, I feel like you've dealt with a lot of crap in the past that's hurt you. And, you know, it's going to be a little bit hard, but this is what you asked for. This is what you wanted. Um... Okay, yeah, in the past you've dealt with a lot of relationships that weren't very balanced. So they weren't, um, you know, on the same page. And, you know, it, it feels like with the Ten of Wands here, it just sent you really on your way. You know, you, you just couldn't handle that. That wasn't, it wasn't fair. It wasn't going in the right direction. So you, you went on your own, you know, left something behind. So it's like now you have a chance for something that you've been wanting something you've been, um, I feel like, meditating on, praying on, thinking about, desiring that special someone to come into your life if this is romantic. You know, you want something that's easy. You don't want to have to feel like you're carrying all these burdens and all this weight uh, within a relationship. Yeah, that's what it feels like. Two of Cups. See, that's what you want. You see how they're happy together? It's like um, they're joined. You know, it's not none of this one-sided crap. You know, where, oh, you do it, you do it, you do it. No, no. Mm -mm. You want that. Wow. That looks beautiful. That looks really beautiful. It truly does. Now, let's see here. <sighs> okay, it's this way. Yeah. See, in the past, you've dealt with some crappy people. Um, Knight of Wands reversed. And Five of Swords. Yeah, some crappy individuals who've done you wrong. And it's like, now you want something real. Ace of Cups is it's, it's right there. But you got to see it. Judgment. Yeah. You see, walk through there. Walk right through there. You got this. Fool. Oh, yeah. Yeah, new beginning, uh, new start, new lease. Um, this is beautiful. Now, let's see. Let's get a couple of these for romantically. This looks good on money front. This looks, you know, because it looks like you're going away from something that 
wasn't for you and you're going to find something it is. Oh my goodness. But where romance is concerned, we got two cards out. We've got both of these. We'll look at this one first. Balance. Oh yeah. See? This right here is not balanced. No. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges you. And this beautiful card. New beginning. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. That's beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. I love it. So that's what I've got for you. Thumbs up. Please do subscribe. Share out the readings. I appreciate each and every one of you. Much light and love. Till next time. Bye.